Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I, that's right, I did quit Baseball Night for a while. I was uh, on vacation for a bit, so haven't made as many videos. I actually haven't been playing the game that much lately. But hey, good news is you're probably, I don't know, 64th favorite content creator on the internet is back now. We're cranking out videos, we're back at it, and it seems like it was actually a pretty decent time to have quit the game, quote unquote, because uh, there's been a lot of controversy over the latest batting update, which has since been reversed, guys. Stay tuned to this video to hear more. Get subscribed, like the video. But I'm here today, you know, there's, if you're not aware yet, there's a new update out, 2.0.0. This is my first initial impressions, just based on paper. I haven't had a chance to play on it yet. I'm still playing on the older version. But I'm, I'm excited for the future of this game now, guys. I know I, I would have quit in protest. Believe me. So if you don't know the background, the last update, two updates ago that they made, greatly nerfed hitting. So it pretty much made hitting home runs a lot harder. Um, people were finding it more difficult to score, get big hits. It was more... I guess you could call it realistic, right? We know the average baseball game, you're not seeing 25 to 2 blowouts. It's it's more of a most games are under 8 to 10 runs, but a lot of people complain. Uh which is which is really cool to see, you know, the community really rally around. Uh some people there there were people who who did in fact like it. It, it really is a personal preference and I'll talk about that later, but it looks like the devs have listened to some people and uh the the latest patch they have made batting now i don't easier compared to what it was before i don't know how this compares to how it was like three years ago easy but they've dialed it back a little bit which is good news for folks who just want to go out there slam home runs all day put up a hundred right i i still myself are ch am chasing the hundred i haven't hit a hundred in over a year at this point but that's beside the point. So they've done that, and along with the batting changes are some very interesting, very interesting other additions, new additions to the game. I'm very excited to try them out. Be sure to get subscribed when I do my full patch rundown, when I update the game, go play on the new update. But they've, they've added what appears to be a new... Uh, system a new attribute some something new for you to tinker around with tinker around with i think it's called potential pretty much it's like a randomized chance you use these tokens and then you can place them on little squares and you get some amount of chance to increase your attributes during the game and i think the more tokens like the more squares that you line up you get a higher percentage chance of getting bonuses and things like that so once again, with a lot of these newer updates, like with the last coach update too, with the coach tickets that they introduced and the skills, for newer players out there, I would still recommend if you're watching and you're still pretty new to the game, I'd recommend just, just focus mostly on recruiting players, upgrading them, getting badges, uh, skill badge, not skill badges, the uh, tier badges so like bronze, silver, gold, diamond badges, stuff like that, and recruit tickets, right? That's That's your first priority. And then once... Once your entire team is recruited, at least, then I start working on silver, gold, diamond, platinum, platinum, diamond. But don't worry too much, too, too much when you just start out about coaches, about um, what is this potential that right? you will gain those tokens over time as you play the game. Uh, most of the rewards you gain from this game, are it's simply just playing the game. After every single game, you get random set of rewards. Um, each season, once you get past the first couple, are 168 games long. So it's not really about what you're getting after any single game. It's about what you get after the whole season. So that's why it's always great to be able to sim games, right? Get through the season as fast as possible. Go up or down or stay the same. And grind out the res those rewards. But I digress. This new update introduces these new tokens as a currency. And it seems like you can in exchange tier tokens so like silver badges gold badges diamond badges for these tokens once again if you're just starting out 
use those on your players, right? Don't trade them in. So a lot of people are going to be happy because there have been some people who've been playing this game for a very long time. Max team, max everything. They have nothing to spend their resources on. Ooh, they're going to be Motani. And this is going to give them a chance to spend, trade in those uh, other badges that they don't need anymore and stock up on these potential tokens. So we're going to have to check out how the system is. Um, maybe, you know, which one's the best one to get. All that good stuff. So stay tuned. But the other thing that they have also added is what appears to be a new home run derby. And that's gone. The 200 power finally pays off first of the day. And they've added a derby, so I'm told. So I'm going to have to try to get there ASAP and show you guys what the home run derby looks like. From what I've seen, it only occurs once per season. Uh, there's no like dedicated practice mode where you can go and just play the home run derby. So I kind of like it that way. It's more exclusive, kind of like the all-star game. But it's good that they're adding things, though, right? So now they've added so far all-star game, now the home run derby. So... I'm liking where they're going with it. And the previous update, I think they also allowed you the the option to pick the pitch that you're going up against in the practice mode. So if you just want to go in and practice against curveballs for an hour, take some BP, curveballs only, you know, get that timing down, you're now able to. Before, you could pick the pitcher, you could pick the batter, um, and even before then, I think you had to, like, have your pitcher as the leadoff hitter. Excuse me, your batter as the leadoff hitter in the lineup. Now you can pick whoever. But So they, they've improved the practice mode. They've improved adding new game modes outside of just season, right? Outside of just playing these regular games. They have All-Star Game. Now they have the Home Run Derby. And they've added this potential Thinking magic. It's kind of like very similar to coaches, very similar to skills, right? Just another thing to kind of spice things up on uh, on the gameplay. So I like it, right? Going back to, I said I quit out of protest. I I still don't know why, and I wouldn't be surprised, guys. Honestly, if in the future, maybe a couple months from now, they decide to nerf batting again this has happened at least three times okay let me know down in the comments if if you remember any other times but from my off the top of my head they've done this at least three times where they nerf batting they make it harder average game scores go down and then people will complain they'll get bad reviews they'll get emails a couple weeks later they will nerf it again or buff it excuse me make the game a little bit easier so hey props i mean props to them for listening the other thing i did want to add is I, i've said this a couple times right maybe if it's at all possible to put in an option for people to just pick what difficulty they want it's maybe you can pick like rookie master legend world difficulty Similar to in Madden, right? You can pick like rookie, all star, all pro, all Madden, the different difficulty levels. So that that would satisfy everybody, right? I, I understand not everyone wants the game to be easy. Some people would rather have a, a more more challenging time to have more real low scoring games. Maybe they want to be more st st strategic. Others Maybe you just want to turn off your brain, hit 20 home runs in a game, win, win the games 50 to 0, game after game. It's completely personal preference, right? I, I personally like having fun and scoring a ton, but I, I get it if you, you want the game to be more realistic. But anyways, it would be nice if they offer the option and it really doesn't matter, right? Because there's no multiplayer. So it's not like you're going to be going up against somebody else playing on a different difficulty. And if there were multiplayer, I've seen this in, you know, all the all the mobile head-to-head -head games like Madden Mobile, NBA Live Mobile. Uh, multiplayer play is on a standard, standardized difficulty setting. So you'd be going with the same game settings as somebody else. So that wouldn't be an issue, but... I really do like the direction of this patch. They've you 
you asked me a couple months ago, right? If if I'd have faith of them ever putting in multiplayer, ever putting in some the home run derby, more game modes. I've been asking for more game modes for t- over two years now. They've added the All Star Game. They've added the Derby now. That's that's two good ones. I look forward to more modes. I just want it. I just want some diversity, right? Maybe you don't want to just go in and play the season games out all day, every day. You want to do some little challenges here and there, derbies, whatever it might be. So I think that'll be pretty interesting to see. I'm excited though. Seems like they really listen to the community. All of you who've written, who post reviews, seems like seems like they listen. So that's good, right? I I'm not gonna lie. I almost wrote them off. Almost just wrote them off, said, yeah, I give up. I don't believe that they're going to have any major updates ever in the future because everything has just been so incrementally slow. But this might be a turning point. I hope they don't prove me wrong. We're all cheering for them to make this game better. More players, right? It's already one of the top free sports games on both Google Play, Apple Store. And it could be so much more, right? Multiplayer now. Maybe they add a localizer or you play against other people's teams. It's not live, right? You play against their AI batters and then you take turns switching off just like um, some of the old Madden NBA live mobile games. Maybe they full count. Well, let's get the strikeout for the dub, but maybe they do add some more daily challenges. Just a quick hit three home runs, get a thousand coins every day, like a warm up challenge. That's the one thing I would love to see. Just cut. Co- I don't care. Just copy Madden Mobile. Don't make it too complicated. Since those games honestly have too many game modes. It's it's very complicated. I, I love the slim, simplicity of Baseball 9. Just upgrade your players. They made it a little bit more complex now with the coach tokens, with the potential, all that stuff. But I I like it. I like how it is. Right? It's nice. I like it. It works. Uh, I would just want to see some more game modes, right? Maybe a daily warm-up challenge. Those are just my initial thoughts. Multiplayer. I'm a fan, but that might take a little bit longer. Hopefully, they're figuring it out. They probably heard that feedback a million times at this point. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what else you all are looking forward to. Check out this new update or other suggestions that you have for the game. Maybe you want to see, I don't even know, some crazy mode where... There's like 20 players on the field. You know, some something crazy. You guys are more creative than I am. But that's all I have for today. This is my first impressions. Be sure to stay tuned. Next video playing on the new patch. And then eventually as it get, like, gets more info, I will definitely be releasing a guide on those, what are they called? Potential tokens to see what they're all about. Should you do it? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Because right now, right in the shop, you can exchange for like these coach tickets, uh, drinks and badges but we'll, we'll see how things end up so that's all i have for today thanks for watching get subscribed peace